dear friends in Christ, happy Sunday and welcome to the second Sunday of Lent. May the Lord continue to sustain us through the entire season in prayer, fasting and charity crowned with true repentance for our sins. We turn our attention today to the revelation of the glory of God in Christ. The gospel is from Luke chapter 9, verses 28 to 36. Jesus had gone up the mountain with Peter, James, and John, who formed the inner circle of the apostles to pray. The apostles saw the transformation of his face and his clothes. They also saw Moses and Elijah conversing with him. Their discussion was about his passing, which he was to accomplish in Jerusalem. Though they were heavy with sleep, they struggled to stay awake to behold his glory. Earlier, Jesus had told them about his impending death in Jerusalem, and now in a conversation with these two very important figures of the Old Testament, they had the same discussion. Moses represents the law and Elijah represents the prophets. Those who represent the entire religious tradition of Israel are here seen discussing the events to come with Jesus, a confirmation that the death of Jesus is a part of God's design for our salvation. These disciples of Jesus, though heavy with sleep, had a foretaste of the glory that was to come. That glory which is brought about by his death on the cross and his resurrection and ascension to the right side of the Father from where he will come to judge the world. Peter's reaction to this event was to remain on the mountain for longer. He will make tents for Jesus, Moses and Elijah. Luke says he did not know what he was saying. It was a sort of instant reaction to what he experienced. They were covered with a cloud that frightened them, and there they heard a voice saying, This is my son, the chosen one, listen to him. They were silenced by the experience and could not tell anyone what had happened to them. In the voice heard, we see a link with the experience of the disciples at the baptism of Jesus in Luke chapter 3, verse 32. The cross of Christ to which the glory of the transfiguration points is a constant reminder that suffering is part of the human experience that we cannot just wish away. How we do accept our suffering and share in the suffering experience of others can help a great deal in appreciating life better. Look at those around you today. Is there a way you can be of help to them? Is the season of Lent moving you to get closer to those around you and to bring some succor to those who are suffering? Luke's description of the transfiguration happening while Jesus was at prayer tells us that prayer has the power to transform the one who prays. The appearance of Moses and Elijah is also a reminder that you are not alone in your moment of prayer. The heavenly people join your intercession. Prayer must become an opportunity for an encounter with the divine in a manner that transforms. Not just a place to complain and report orders for severe punishment by God, it must be a place of encounter. Moses had a great encounter with God on the mountain and brought back the commandments. Elijah's moment on the mountain produced an encounter with God in the silence and the still small voice outside of the cave. The disciples who had slept could not but be penetrated by the experience of the transfiguration. The same will happen to them at Gethsemane. We are called to be awake, to watch and pray. 
Peter wanted the experience to last even longer. He wanted to build three tabernacles, not just in the experience of the, of the feast of booths and tabernacles, but a semblance of the glory of God that dwells in the temple, a glory that had been missing since the time of the prophet Jeremiah. Peter failed in the moment to realize that there's still one more mountain to climb, where the glory will be fulfilled for all time, the mountain of Calvary, where the king will be forever enthroned. The Lord then covered them in cloud and invited them to listen to the beloved. Obedience is better than sacrifice, better than building tents. You must allow the experience of the season of Lent to be for you an encounter that you will never forget, an encounter with God that brings a change, a change to your life and a change to the situation of those around you. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, for the holy mysteries which bring us here on earth closer to the life of heaven. Grant us true joy and happiness in all we do. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.